hello everyone uh, today i'll be giving an example of crude operation in python using in django framework basically so let's see how it looks like uh, the project is running on uh, this ip with this port number uh, let's see how it works first of all uh, i have created an employee application inside 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 a crude example project see project creation and uh, application creation is very much simple you can go to you can go to yeah you can go to this document i'll give a link of this document in my description there you will see the basic syntax how to create application and other stuffs okay hmm. now let's start uh, for example if i want to add an employee i'll click on this see the url and there is an extra thing add due to which this add page has been derived now suppose i'm adding an employee with employee id 145 name suppose abcd contact number one two three four five six designation let it be let it be ede now i'm creating an employee yeah it's created now let's see uh, the employee id was 145 so with 145 i have the name contact number designation and uh, two other options one to edit one to delete so let's go to edit now and i'll edit the name see i have passed the uh, employee id and then the edit function or edit view so now i'm changing the name to say x y z now i'll update it okay mm, see the name has been changed to x and y x y z uh see there's already a name with x y z so i'll delete this one so check the employee id it's two the name is x y z in small so if i delete this yeah i'm getting this list again with the actually i'm getting this updated list so let's go to the coding part uh, this application has been uh, done in I've used a uh, uh, sublime text to run the code to write the code basically mm, this is my application inside the crude example project mm, I'll, uh, first of all I need to I need to add the application into my project so for that what I did is inside inside the settings.py i have added the app one that is the name of my app and then nothing else uh, nothing else i did this is the database thing by default it's sql3 and in the urls part what i did is i have imported path and include package modules basically so here i haven't i didn't write anything that's why here even if i go to add employee nothing is showing after the 8080 port number it's only the add function which is coming here okay so that's the reason this is empty and include app1.urls it, it means that i am including the urls which are mapped inside application one okay so so with, by this my application is in included inside the project as well as the urls now go to app one first of all and uh, we need to create model mm, it's simple from django.db db dot and from django.db import models i have created a class called employee 
and given these fields with some restrictions okay now in the urls.py there is there are so many links so just forget these right now and just focus on first one okay now this means that if i hit the url that is this url there is nothing in uh, there is nothing suppose i have written this jhb but there is nothing basically which means that if you find nothing over here then go to go to views dot index function so now i'll go to views you will find out index function over here okay the index function will return a render function which has been imported from django dot shortcuts and render function is passed and there are two fun two variables is pa is being passed first is the request object and second the path of the template where index dot html page is situated and it accepts a third variable you can see all data variable actually it's a function it returns a context object i'll come to this later for the timing let's consider it as it is like taking two variables one is this one and the other one is this one so now let's start the server uh, i'll break the current connection and then see i'm running the server in 8080 port intentionally now i'll run this command and you can see yeah uh my project is ready in this url i'll copy this and then we'll paste it and i'll get my project over here yeah so similarly now from the now i am at index.html page there's a template folder inside that i've created an application folder that is app1 inside that there is an index.html page here i have redirected i have given two links one is for add employee and the second one is for view employees in add employee an add function and add url is there in view there is a view url this will be mapped to the urls.py see add uh, add keyword and then views.add which means if the url finds an add string then it will refer to the add function inside the views so let's go to views see there is a function called view and it will return the portal page with all data function and now in coming to all data function basically all data function takes the employee object from the employee uh, employee model and object dot all function uh, extracts all the object or all the rows of the employee model and stores in the employee variable and context is basically a tool a third part through which i am passing this variable context is basically a dictionary okay so and it is return and this function is returning a context variable so for that uh, i am just directly calling this function over here so this data will be directly fetched to the app one portal dot html page. So go to let let's go to portal page. Here you'll see one thing. I have there are two conditions. If a if is starting here and ending here, so the entire thing is inside a condition. Come down. here also there is an if and there is an ending if so this entire thing is also inside a condition okay so now I'll, now i'll go back to views.py here i'll be i have been redirected to uh, portal.html 
okay with this data this is a running an imp variable with this data now i am checking inside the portal page that whether this variable is empty or not if the if the uh, if this variable is having a, any value then show this this is basically a table which is having one row as the heading row that is the employee id name contact number designation action and the other row is rows are also inside a for loop for uh, which means that uh, suppose we have four rows of data so for four rows will be created with the corresponding data okay now i have passed that emp variable so i am checking if there is emp variable then run this loop where i'll be starting the loop from e to the end of the loop so i'm extracting the employee id by e.eid the name the contact number and the designation hmm. so this way i am landing to view employees see i'm getting all the employees so this is basically the create update hmm so now i'll create one data now i'll click on add employee suppose i have given fifth, uh, this is the employee id some name ft contact number say there is no such validation just because uh, i am created i have created just a simple crud operation so that people will understand the basic concept validations and ui part will be taken care of later so now i'm creating okay i'll check whether the, it has been created or not i'll go to views.py yeah the 678 ft contact number gbgb okay so i'll show you how it happened first of all go to index page here it's showing add now go to views.py no sorry urls.py you can see add the from add i'll be going to views.add so go to views.add and it is running app1 portal dot html and a dictionary an unnamed dictionary basically there is no name such like i've given here the name context but there is no such name so it has having a variable name a key actually key is a and the value is ac okay so now go to portal.html here i have checked for a if a contains any value then show me this form and this form contains the form basically where we uh, this form where i'll be displaying the fields with the value okay now just check this the action of the form is create method is post and there is a submit button which says create and when the uh, when i'm clicking on the create it is going to this action create so uh so which means that uh, the url will have something slash create so let's go to urls or okay, see there is create so it will go to views dot create and the name field is optional you can give it or you cannot give it so let's go to views dot create hmm and i uh, here uh, with the help of this sorry with the help of this post method i'm getting all the values inside this request dot post for eid for e name contact and designation so i have stored them into imp and emp dot save is a python function which saves the data and in return redirect slash which means i'll be re redirect redirected back to this ip okay then that's it that is the create part now come to edit and delete uh suppose i want to edit this 
okay so i'll click edit you can see i'm passing the employee id and the corresponding edit function height is working i'll show you photos edit i have passed eid and in the similarly i'll go to urls.py see there is an integer which has been passed and after that an edit very edit string which means i'll be going to views.edit in views.edit i can see i'm getting the employer with edit eid is id which is passed by via the url and storing them in the context variable and returning it via render to the edit.html page now i'll go to edit.html here there is only one object so i'm directly writing emp.id this field is kept as non editable and we place the value in html file of from a python file to file like this so all the fields are displayed with the respective values which are editable and there is an update uh, uh, button which uh, which redirect to redirects to action update see you can see here update with id i'll go to views dot update then views dot update here i am getting the employee with that particular id and i'm uh, saving the new name to the old one new contact to the old one and uh, the new designation to the old one and i'm saving it now then comes to render uh render is passing it passing uh, taking us to the index.html page with all the data see all data function is very useful i have created once i'm using it here and here and will be using it over here also okay so with this i'll be going to index.html page with all the data see if i'll say if i click update i'll be going to uh see the value has been updated now come to delete see i want to delete this one 145 so for that i'll just click delete it has been deleted see 145 is over here but it's not over here so let's go to delete function in delete i've passed eid and in delete is reflecting to view dot delete i'll go to view dot delete here also with the help of this function i'm deleting that particular object and again redirecting to the portal dot html with all the data so this way uh, i have created a simple crud operation in django using python okay see you and if if there is any error say mm, in the urls.py if i write something j and then redirect to that page it won't come unable to connect see in this case you won't be finding any error over here so just go to the it should be showing over here but now it's not showing see you can see uh, add the add url view url edit url 